Well, thank you very much and welcome to San Jose State University. We're inside the event center where we're joined by the fourth season women's head coach of basketball team here at San Jose State, Jamie Craighead, and senior point guard Des Ramos. And, and coach, we'll start with you. Uh, first and foremost, let, let's briefly talk about last year, which was a, a good jump for this team, 11-7 and seven in the conference, fourth overall, and, and I thought a nice jump for this team. Just your thoughts about last year very briefly. Uh, you know, it seems so long ago, um, but I, I thought it was a tremendous step for our program in um, that third season, uh, finishing fourth and getting a bye. But um, we feel like there's still something left to prove. You know, we're not a Colorado State, a Fresno State, a Boise State that's had continued tradition and success, and, and that's really what we're, we're looking to build. Um, so we're really excited about this year. We took a climb up the mountain about halfway and yeah. got to get to the top. And for you, Des, uh, Mountain West newcomer of the year last year, what did you feel like was the biggest growth for you as a player last season? Uh, I thought I came into this program um, with the system well, ru um, running, and uh, thought we did a lot of big things last year. Um, we didn't have the outcome we wanted, um, losing in the first round for Mountain West, but we know that what we need to do um, and our goal is still the same. All right, now coming to this year, Coach, uh, it seems like this, the theme for San Jose State women's basketball is a tough non-conference schedule. And here we have another tough non-conference schedule this season. Is that by design for this team to get you guys ready for the conference year? Yeah, I mean, obviously we can't predict that all of those teams are going to go to um, the postseason, but many of them have great tradition and history in their program. And um, some of them were returning games, mm -hmm. um, and, and some of them were new additions to our schedule. But I think we obviously learned that if we're ready for Mountain West, um, we can compete, and, and that's the intention. I've, I've done that for a number of years as a head coach of a different program. Um, we just want to play a tough schedule so our kids mm -hmm. are ready, and we think that's how they'll get prepared, and um, I'm hoping that it, it pays dividends, and, and who knows? We have a chance to go play some really big teams and some really big venues, and we're really excited about that. Sure, and then looking at the starting uh, roster for this team, I know you have to replace two starters, Nairi Harris and Ellie Stevens, uh, a point guard that played defense, and then that trail post, which is so important in your style of offense. Do you know who's going to fill those roles at this point? Um, you know, right now we have a trio of players that are um, getting reps in time. Uh, a senior who uh, I thought Paris Baird came on for us last year tremendously well um, towards the end of our conference play. She had big games against Colorado State, big games against Utah State. Um, I know that she's looking for a bigger role, and as a senior, we look to her for leadership mm -hmm. in that position. Um, we had a red shirt that sat out last year that was brought here to play that position, and we're pretty comfortable with her skill set and that we recruited her before. Um, and then we've moved Andrea Kohlhaas to that position um, with the addition of a shooting guard, a true shooting guard, and Rachel West at the two spot, we felt like Dre might be better served this season um, at that trail guard position. And then obviously I kind of just answered the question about the two guard. Um, Rachel and Annalise Benali, a freshman, um, they both will have a, a, an opportunity to play big minutes in that position. Um, and I think even with having a true backup point guard now, we mm -hmm. can move Dez over to the scoring guard in times. Um, Dez is a tremendous scorer, and I think sometimes when you bring the ball up the court, that can make it difficult to uh, have those dead ball, you know, where you have a chance to take somebody off a ball screen right. without bringing it up the court. So I'm really excited about um, our weapons and um, the ability to kind of um, spread things out and have, have more depth, I think, in that trail guard position. Well, she just mentioned that you're a tremendous scorer, Des. What did you work on in the offseason? I know you can really fill it up, but what is working on in the offseason transitioning to this year for you? Uh, this offseason, I really try to prepare myself mentally and um, running and conditioning, and I feel like I had to get in a lot better shape than I was last year. Um, I've also watched um, a lot of game film last year to see what I need to improve on. and. I mean, it comes with consistency in my shot and ball handles, but at the same time, you realize that um, I need to play both ends of the court and be a bigger help on the defensive side. Coach, I know you mentioned some of the newcomers. There's seven of them this year for San Jose State, and I know you briefly touched on some of them, but Spartan fans are going to get to, to know a lot of new faces on this team. Can you just talk about them? Yeah, we're a little bit old and a lot bit young. Um, <laughs> So with the seven kids, one of them is a, a transfer who played two years of you know four-year experience. So I, I think that she brings something that, that helps us. She's played, um, obviously, at, at a four-year institution and started and played a lot of minutes. So I don't really count her as one of those newcomers, but new to us and new to fans. Um, we have uh, five freshmen. 
Uh, one of them is Anna Thomas' daughter, who she's going to actually sit out in redshirt this mm -hmm. year. Um, six foot trail guard as well. Uh, I, you know, played with the Sweden national team. Is very mature for her age. We're really excited about her future. Um, was coming off an ACL injury that we felt she might need a little bit more time to recover. So we, we felt like we had a lot of depth in that position. It would be kind of a waste to use um, her talents this year. And then we have a, a lot of freshman faces, a point guard, a shooting guard, a wing, uh, inside post player, um, Alexis Harris, who's you know 6'3", uh, long wingspan. She'll be a great addition for us. Um, she's better on the defensive end right now than she is the offensive end, but that, that's something we need, a uh, shot blocker mm -hmm. and um, somebody that can get after it on the defensive end. And um, we've got a shooter in Annalise Benali, really fast trigger. I mean, she can shoot it, she can let it fly, and I don't think she really has a conscience. She'll just keep <laughs> shooting. Um, and then uh, Maya Hafoka is uh, playing sort of a backup role to uh, my Janique, and um, she's probably the biggest surprise for me. Um, she came in ready to go. She's in shape. She's really strong. Mm -hmm. She's lifting with Jasmine Smith in terms of the weights that she's pulling around in the weight room. Um, and she just goes about her business. You know, she just comes, she works hard, and we're really excited about what she could do this year. And then obviously um, Taylor's Des is back up, and um, I think our future is really bright with her. She's a true point guard, though. You know, Des provides us provides us with a scoring punch that I, Taylor at this point doesn't have in her game, mm -hmm. but she can score. Um, she's much more a distributor. Um, we're, we're anxiously uh, waiting and asking for her to be a scoring threat. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we need in our system, but great attitude can push the ball. Um, so I, I think we're, we're in a good place. Uh, they have to learn what it's like to play at this level, and that won't come until games start, but our veterans are competing against them every day, and if we go hard, um, then I think they'll be ready. Well, talking about the veterans, do, do you feel now, Des, that you have to take more of a leadership role for this team with all the young players and you being the senior and the scorer? Mm, yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think my role so much has changed that much from last year, so I knew um, what I had to do. But as far as this year, I think a lot more of me being a leader vocally-wise for the younger um, ones coming in is a big part and same for the returners as well. well. Now this being your fourth season, is this where you envision the program in year four? And if not, what, what do you want to see out of this program through the course of this season? You know, I think when we got a chance to take a look at where we were at, um, it's been a it's been a good off season for us to kind of say, OK, this is year three going into year four. Where are we at? I think in terms of the players buy in is where I actually look at that. And I think that we're more bought in than we've been. Um, there's players that have been recruited to the system. Um, there's people who've been in it for three, four years, right. and um, that's important. And then I try and focus on year to year. Um, this team isn't last year's team or the year before. They have great potential. Um, I think that culturally we're in a better place. You know, they understand that we're going to hold ourselves to a really high standard, and um, they're going to be asked to meet that standard on the court and off. Um, but year to year, it's a new team, and, and we're just excited. I mean, this is our first week into practice. It's just good to have them more than two hours a week. <laughs> Um, it's kind of hard to tell where we're going to go, but I, I believe if they get, if we get total buy-in and everybody is just all in and working hard, we have a really great chance to be something special. All right, that's the head coach here at San Jose State, Jamie Craighead, and senior point guard, Des Ramos. Thanks so much, and good luck on the season, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now back to you guys in the Mountain West Network Studios.